Hello, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas. This week I was in the mood to look through some French cookbooks because last week I did a whole bunch of pie cookbooks and explored a bunch of Middle Eastern cookbooks and I loved them all, but I felt like going to Paris. So I picked up Tasting Paris, 100 Recipes to Eat Like a Local by Cotilde du Solier. It came out in 2018. Clarkson Potter, probably my favorite cookbook publisher, if I'm going to play favorites. It's dedicated to Anne. Let's check out the table of contents. Welcome to Paris. And then morning, noon, afternoon, early evening, evening and late night. Okay, Paris. I've only been to Paris once and it was when I was 18 and that was a long time ago. And I'd like to go back. Morning, first recipe. Oh, she's, okay. She's telling us about her life in Paris. She says, taking my children to school early in the morning means passing commuters coming in and out of the Art Nouveau metro station, a bakery, shelves loaded, the warm smell of croissants wafting out of the sidewalk vents, and a neighborhood cafe where a handful of customers gulp down espressos at the zinc counter. I cross paths with other parents nudging along their young children, street cleaners picking up the traces of their previous night's parties, employees from the charcuterie, etc., I love that she's describing what her life is like in Paris. And now, making your own breadcrumbs, quick red onion pickle, how to proof yeast, how to make chocolate bread, small photo, hmm, okay, yay, big photo. <laughs> it's so easy to make me happy, just put a big colorful photo in there. This is a compote of fruits, tea and honey fruit compote with yogurt. Now she's writing about breakfast and brunch. A morning brioche. I don't have time to make myself brioche in the morning. Three generations of bread bakers at Les Maisons Poilon. I think it's a bakery. Here's Moroccan crumpets. I didn't expect to see a recipe like that. The Paris croissant. Here is deviled avocado. Mmm, yum. And rye and red miso bread. I wouldn't have thought of that as a breakfast item, but that sounds good. Blackberry Bostock with quick blackcurrant jam, chocolate hazelnut spread, how to roast and skin hazelnuts in case you have the time. Okay, she's going to the... Now it's noon and she's having a potato chip and chive omelet that sounds amazing. Uh, this is a spiralized zucchini salad and I like that she has little notes and tips for every recipe on the side. Hazelnut crusted goat cheese salad. Fall vegetable carpaccio, but there's no picture of it. Instead, there's a picture of Paris. Grated carrots from the charcuterie. What? Hmm, okay. Here's a frise with bacon and egg. Very, very French salad, yes. She's writing about the best baguette in Paris, and now I'm hungry for baguettes. Grilled cheese sandwich with ham and egg. Ooh, Turkish lamb flatbreads. How good does that look? I want to make sure you can see it. Wow. Paris picnic. Ratatouille pita sandwich with chopped egg and tahini sauce. Sounds amazing. Fish tagine with chermoula, but I need the picture a little bigger. Roast chicken with herbed butter and croutons. Very French, very delicious, I'm sure. Steak with maitre de hotel butter. Chocolate mousse. My personal favorite dessert if it's dark chocolate instead of milk. Raspberry lemon milfoy. I've never tried making one. It looks hard. Easy puff pastry. Beautiful Moroccan orange salad. Can you imagine that in spring or summer or, or winter or autumn? Okay, fine. Every season. Arc de Triomphe. Okay. Gorgeous caramelized plum tart. That is so pretty. Okay. Three generations of cheesemongers she's introducing us to. Now we're in afternoon. Earl Grey Madelines for your tea time, which tea time is not exclusive to Britain or London, by the way. Old fashioned apple turnovers, yum. Uh, Parisian flan, which I've never had. That sounds amazing. Gotta skip ahead though. Okay. How about a salted caramel flaky pie with some coffee in the afternoon? Now we're in early evening. I suspect it's cocktail hour which it almost is here in my house too, and oh, I am ready for it. Chicken and pistachio terrine. 
Armenian Bjorix, radish leaf pesto, and these are butternut kibbe with spinach. I wish the photo was bigger, but I get the drift. Here we go. An oven puffed pancake. I think we would have called that a Dutch baby almost, but it's got more eggs and it's French, not Dutch. She's writing about wine bars on wine shops and natural wines. Gratinade mussels with garlic and parsley. Oh my gosh, very French. Yes. French aperitifs. Here's a green wasp cocktail. It is made with cucumber, fresh cilantro leaves, lime juice, agave syrup, and tequila. Here's a French 75, which is currently my favorite cocktail to order at a restaurant or bar. Cheese and charcuterie boards. Now we're in evening. What are we going to do in the evening? Here is roasted squash soup with curried cheese quenelle. Here's a cauliflower brioche that sounds amazing, especially because I'm vegetarian. And I just went to a French restaurant here in Seattle. And they made me a mushroom bourguignon. That was nice. Bistro. Here's tafaya chicken couscous. Never heard of that word before. Here's a spice crusted duck magrette. Here is a, let's see, person. Fish beurre blanc oven roasted ratatouille. I was hoping there would be a ratatouille recipe in this cookbook. We're getting to the end. So let me see what I can show you. Here we go. Vanilla ice cream puffs. End of the book. Tasting Paris. 100 recipes to eat like a local. I really enjoyed that. And I think I'm going to go back and look at that egg dish. Hmm. Or the cauliflower brioche, actually. Hmm. Anyway, thanks for watching this cookbook look through and review with us. You can find more of them at the cookbookdivas.com blog. We have a podcast where we talk about cookbooks. It's called the Cookbook Divas Podcast. <laughs> we couldn't think of a better name. And we post cookbook news and reviews and info to Facebook and Instagram. And of course, these videos on YouTube. Be sure to give us a like and a comment if you see something you enjoy. That will train the social media algorithms to show you more of our posts. <laughs> Bye.